We've been talking about it all week long. Uh, we had a nice warm up today, but now comes that big cold front, which will cause temperatures to plummet over the next couple days. It's almost into our backyard. Uh, we're just past Freeport as of this point, closing it on Rockford. Still looking at the 80s ahead of that front, but behind the front, not a huge difference yet, but we'll definitely notice it by tomorrow and especially going into Saturday. So temperatures will be cooling down plenty over the next couple days. Out ahead of that front, we have a couple spotty showers really not much for rainfall, though we're not fully dry. So as you can see, just a few raindrops popping up here and there, and that's really the theme over the rest of this evening is mostly dry and cloudy conditions. But every so often you might get a quick light shower, especially as we get beyond six o'clock, possibly around sunset. Uh, we may have a quick thunderstorm uh, popping up near to Cal, but we'll have to see if future track uh, is able to verify with that. Uh, but you can see here that for the most part, we have a fairly dry and cloudy evening. Again, every so often may have a quick raindrop or two, and then we dry out late tonight. And then moving forward uh, today, we managed to get to the middle 80s, 60s for highs, 40s for lows tomorrow and Saturday, so we head into the weekend with very fall-like conditions. We're right back into summer weather next week, though. Interesting trend as to how hot we may get. Uh, so that summer weather is not going anywhere anytime soon. It's just we take a detour into October weather for a couple days. So for tonight, uh, in the upper 50s, a few spotty showers early. Otherwise, looking at partly cloudy and breezy weather, and it will be a bit breezy tomorrow as that cold air blows in. Check out the high temperature We're below 70 degrees for the first time since June 1st. Got a little sunshine with some isolated afternoon showers, so it may not be fully dry tomorrow. As you look at future track, though, it's the same as today. A very spotty light rainfall for the most part uh, during the morning to early afternoon. Slight chance we get a slightly heavier shower at the beginning of the evening, but then I think we dry out completely after that. So if you are going to go out to things like City Market or some of those Friday night football games, a little on the brisk end, low 60s to 50s, and check out that slight wind chill too because of those breezy winds. So uh, definitely grab uh, the uh, different picnic blankets and things like that to stay warm if you're going to be out and about and in those stands as of tomorrow night because we've got very fall-like weather. It sticks around for the weekend too, only 66, yet we turn back sunny for Saturday. Temperatures starting to rebound on Sunday, and that's the trend that we'll have to keep an eye on is because well, we really get back into some summer territory starting at the end of this weekend. So rebounding on Sunday, we continue to warm on Monday and check out the middle to end of next week near 90 degrees. Also look at all that sunshine in your most accurate 10 day forecast will stay in the middle to upper 80s going into next weekend and no rain in sight out of the spotty showers tomorrow.